dear friends welcome back again we are discussing the model question papers okay so i will be explaining in this video the question number 6b the mean weight obtained from a random sample of size 100 is 64 grams okay so the mean weight is given okay that is 64 grams and the sample size is also 100 over here the standard deviation that is sigma of the weight distribution of population is 3 grams and also the standard deviation is given test the statement that the mean weight of the population is 67 grams and the mean weight is also given over here okay that was the mean weight of the random sample which we are randomly selected this is the overall okay the mean weight of the population is 67 grams at 5 percent level of significance also set up 99 percent confidence limits of the mean weight of the population okay so far we have discussed the varieties of problems on this particular basis so i think no need to explain much more i will just give you the brief explanation okay given data write down the uh, given data first how much is the sample size n is equal to 100 okay and the mean weight obtained is 64 grams that is x bar is equal to 64 grams sigma is equal to 3 grams that is your standard deviation of the weight distribution of population is 3 grams right and the mean weight of the pop total population is 67 that is your mu is given which is equal to 67 grams okay at 5 percent level of significance right now <clears throat> we know that there is the formula z is equal to mod of x bar minus mu divided by sigma upon root of n whenever you have to calculate these confidence limits in the questions okay so you have to use this particular formula that is z is equal to mod of x bar minus mu divided by sigma upon root n so how much is the x bar value 64 so 64 minus mu value is 67 divided by uh, sigma sigma is 3 divided by n n is 100 okay so 3 upon root 100 so you will get z is equal to 64 minus 67 is minus 3 divided by this 3 multiplied by root of uh, 100 is 10 so it will be reciprocal and becomes 10 3 3 cancels and this will become mod of minus 10 it is nothing but 10 so mod gives you always positive values so z is equal to 10 and you already know at 5% level of significance z standard value is 1.96 so this is our z is equal to 10 so it is obviously greater than 1.96 so we can conclude that our hypothesis is rejected at 5% level of significance okay now also we have to calculate uh, also set up 99% confidence limits okay so for 99% confidence limit all again a formula you should use x bar plus minus 2.58 sigma upon root n okay so your x bar is given in the problem that is 64 okay so plus minus 2.58 into sigma is also given 3 divided by root of n n is 100 so root of 100 <clears throat> when you just calculate this much so your confident confidence limit becomes 64 plus minus 0 0.0774 so you have to take one's minus value and positive value so 64 minus 0 0.074 is equal to 63.92 and 64 plus value 0 0.0774 you will get 64.000774 so your confidence limits are 63.92 and 64.0 774 okay this much is the for answer for this particular question i hope this is clear to you people so dear friends uh, i wish uh, you all the best for your examinations thank you <clears throat>